Hi and welcome to this week's project. Something a little bit different um, this week. I am actually, this is the end of June just now and I am currently getting ready to head down to House of Resin to do two day workshops down there um, next weekend. And on the way back, I've decided that I'm going to meet up with some other makers and have a look at their workshops. I don't very often get the chance to go down to England, so I thought I'd make the best of the journey back and try and uh, hook up with a few few makers and see, see what they're up to. But I wanted to also take them some gifts down. And this is a gift that I am going to be casting today for the woodturner John Clothier. He's been a great friend since we started YouTube. In fact, we were very, very small channels when John, I think, started watching me and then we got to know each other. And for the last two years, we've met up at Maker Central. And uh, yeah, he's a really good friend now. So I'm heading to see him for a day. And uh, he knows I'm casting him her project. And we decided we would do something together. Casting for somebody who already casts can be quite tricky because he cast some beautiful projects. He's got some great ideas. So I wanted something that represented me quite well, but this is in my point of view. It might not be how you think of it, but and uh, in my style. So today I am going for Millie Burr, which is one of my favorite burrs to use. And I've dyed and stabilized it in cactus juice using Alumalite dyes. Um, using the cactus juice dye should I say and I've added a little bit of honeycomb into here I'm going to be casting it with the four shades of green like I do the pen blanks but I'm going to do this obviously in this it's just it's not too big a casting it's four and a half inches by just under three and a half inches um, so I'm hoping that this will do for John's project this mould would have took about 900 mils of resin, um, but with the burrs and stuff in, I'm thinking about 500 mils should cover it absolutely fine. So, uh, yeah, so the colours I'm using is teal, spruce green, lime green and forest green. And I'm just going to show this video, I'm just checking that that's in the camera, I'm just going to show um, It'll be a quite a short video, um, basically mixing up the colours, putting the colours in and then the demoulding for tomorrow. The links to John's video, which will be the second part of this, this will be him turning it, are down below now. So you'll be able to see the whole project today, you'll be able to watch this now and then go off and watch John um, turning it into whatever he decides to make in with it. So I really hope you enjoy this video and thank you for coming along once again to watch my channel.
okay welcome back it's the next day and uh, the blank is all solid now the mold lasted up really well I meant to say in the first one it's just um, two pound chopping board from Tesco's this and hot glue that I used um, so hopefully it won't be too bad to get off so let's have a look I might be able to just pull these bits off the end actually just a hot glue that I used to run around the seal um, on the inside which I find works nice so there we go that's the blank and it is going to be going well it's going to be given to John Clothier this weekend so I shall post a couple of pictures up of this at the end and go along and see John's video now because it is already up this was obviously filmed in advance of me giving it him so go along check out his video and thank you very much for watching everybody hey John hi hello Pat how are you doing I'm all right come on in <laughs> 